Twix executive editor Phil Perman joins me now for a lightning round on what else? Facebook first public earnings reports coming out. Phil, what are the key points Facebook's got to hit? Well, I think there's the big questions that everybody's talking about: advertising and uh, Facebook Exchange. How can how they can better focus and target their advertising? The thing that strikes me though is uh, the dispersion of analyst estimates. Yeah, they're all over the map. Right. So where is the stock priced ahead of the earnings? Well, the thing about analyst estimates, it, uh, they are a, uh, a proxy for street expectations. And so when you see them all over the map, and this is their first report, so when you see them all over the map, it means that investors have no clue where they're going to come in. And this is their first earnings report, you know? So the way I see that is that we're going to learn a lot. And, and so if you're following the markets closely and you're in, in interested in Facebook, you're going to get a chance to watch their first and listen to their first earnings report and then listen to their second one three months from now. And what you'll see in three months is the expectations, uh, the dispersion of expectations come in. 38, just a number now? Yeah, 38 is meaningless, right? I mean, 38, I mean, people love to uh, sort of uh, huddle around numbers, and those are insignificant now. There's a new reference point, and that's where the stock price is now, and uh, price is king. What does Mark Zuckerberg have to do to be a hero and not a heel? Well, with Zuckerberg, the thing is, he's a very young CEO. He's, he's a genius. He's surrounded himself with very smart people. So he needs to continue to keep his pulse on uh, the market. And what that means is buying Instagram. Brilliant move. Some people say that he overpaid, but you know he got it right. I mean, those guys are a threat to him. They're a threat in the whole social space. And he got it early enough before they would do damage a year from now. Anyone else a threat? Well, the, the, the space is changing so quickly. Obviously, Twitter, uh, you know, Twitter wants to be as big as Facebook is. They have a huge amount of engagement. And so I think that's a huge threat. Um, you know, I think especially if they get taken by a larger company, if they get taken by a Google or an Apple, then it becomes very interesting. Phil Perlman, great to talk to you. Thanks so much. Pleasure. I'm Rhonda Schaffler. This is Reuters.